Traitor psychology, fear, transforming negative energy. So excessive emotions and our reactions around those emotions, the behaviors that we have when we're in a place of, uh, of high emotion is one of the biggest contaminants to successful trading. Uh, and uh, even for investors, uh, people that aren't that active in the market can really hold them back, uh, the best way to manage their money. When this happens, when all those emotions come up, uh, healthy decisions can be very difficult. Um, in the workshop that I did, the five essential building blocks to successful trading, I discuss um, in the first building block um, the role that we give trading in our life, uh, often an unhealthy role. In that workshop, uh, we talk about delving into the past uh, to look at um, the old messages or those the parts of us that drive us that come from uh, a sense of uh, low self-esteem, uh, low sense of self-worth, uh, to act in ways that aren't always the best for us. Um, this uh, this workshop, uh, little I'm going to call this a little workshop that we're doing right here today, really is borrowed from the work that I've done uh, in personal growth work uh, for the last. 24 years now wow uh, and uh, it's uh, it's much more about actions to take here in the present not really looking back at so much of the old stuff in our life but uh, kind of a way to be different a way that we can be more we can transform uh, the energies that we get uh, from these emotions often negative emotions into something that uh, is more powerful uh, I give you ways to act uh, more confident uh, I call myself a transformational facilitator actually uh, when I do this work and uh, in, my, in my history I have led 22 groups uh, that last four or five months uh, at a time uh, one night a week uh, for about three or four hours and that's a lot of, uh, of time that I have spent uh, in this work and delivering a lot of workshops so uh, I, I want to call just this little you know 20-25 minutes we're going to do here a little workshop um, it's it's important you're going to be probably watching this um, some of you uh, while you're trading while you're at, in a workplace or something like that and this is one of the unusual videos that you know you can watch it now but I encourage you to um, finish this watch it again and do the processes that are the process that we're going to do uh, in the second half of this video uh, in uh, in a place where you're it's quiet where you can really focus and concentrate because it's a it's a process uh, that uh, I'm going to want you to embody certain energies and take certain actions uh, that you will feel better about doing it without people watching you do it. So um, I really want you to come back to this and do this in uh, in an environment where you feel safe, comfortable, and probably alone. Uh, and uh, that will give you a, a real sense to get the best benefit out of this um, video that we're doing here. Um, uh, what we want to do is, 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 I use the word transformative a couple times. We wanna, what we want to do is we want to look at this negative energy that uh, comes from negative emotions, something that we're feeling because of something that's going on in our life. And that piece of whatever it is that's going on in our life is probably unattended to. Uh, and that uh, is potentially nagging and distracting uh, and keeping us from uh, acting in healthy ways or being able to focus. It could be about life. It could be something about your trading that's going on that is causing that. I'm going to say again, unattended. Uh, there's reasons that we don't really look at them or act on them or wait too long to do so. So what we want to do is take that negative energy and we want to transform it and go to a place of empowerment. 
And when we're in negative energy, things look one way, and when we're in a place of empowerment or confidence, things look very different. Uh, and our behaviors are very different from both of those places. So uh, we, we want to do that because then ultimately the bottom line is, as traders, we want to be in a place where we can make the best decisions, the fastest, the healthiest, no matter what the decision is, even to lose. Uh, we want to be able to do that the best that we can. So I'm going to start this out. The first part of this is a little short story uh, that I think is very beneficial to hear. Of uh, you might have heard this before, and uh, whenever I do this, lots of people love it. So uh, we're going to start out with part one right over here, this little story, take a couple minutes, and then we're going to get into the second part, which is really the, the process that we're going to look at. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the story of the lions. So uh, lions appear to prefer gazelle meat. However, they're unable to catch the gazelle. It's too swift an animal. So a group of young lions will herd the gazelles in a direction they want them to go. The gazelles easily outrun the lions, but they head off in the direction that the lions are guiding them. They herd the gazelles toward a grassy area where a group of older lions are waiting. The older lions are too old, arthritic, and tired to be able to catch their own meat uh, some spelling errors there. <laughs> Still, they have a place in the herd. Uh, the younger lions herd the gazelles toward the older lions who are hiding in the tall grass. When the gazelles are practically on the older lions, they jump up and give a loud roar. Immediately, the gazelles, fearing for their lives, turn and run in the opposite direction, right into the mouths of the young lions who catch and kill them. So the moral of the story, go towards the roar. And the rest of the video here is about helping us to do that, to go towards the roar, to be able to um, look at those things that, you know, are, that, are, that are, are big in our life, that are essentially um, issues that are lingering back there. Uh, they could be expenses in the house. It could be problems with in relationships. It could be m money problems, uh, costs for kids' college. It could be uh, that you've lost money trading and not owning up to it. Uh, it could be lots of things that are just sitting out there that um, you're hoping that if you just make enough money trading, you could deal with it. But those things are really giving you the weight of the world as they have far, far more weight that they should have. And the problem is, is that we end up waiting too long and the, uh, dealing with the issues becomes harder and harder. I have worked with traders and people that um, have have done this in so many ways and uh, once they actually deal with the issue it really takes a tremendous uh, amount of weight off of off of them so uh, you know the the problem is is that most of the time we have these fears and if we're not you know if we're not dealing with the fear we haven't faced the fear then um, it's it, it remains in our way. Me too. I mean, there are many times of uh, I've compounded uh, problems, waited too long, made it tougher to deal with uh, later. So um, the this process that we're going to do right now, or that I'm going to show you right now, and you might do later, is a, a process to deal with that. It's transformative. Uh, it, it essentially takes you through a way to go to the roar, to stop running away from the um, roar that you're hearing that is bringing you the fear or the emotions that are coming up and to actually face them because they probably don't have teeth or the teeth that you believe that they have and then to be able to face them and completely defang them rather than well, essentially being eaten by them, which is just 
so great as far as that story, as far as a metaphor goes. So uh, we're going to uh, do this process right now, and uh, you you might want to make some notes. You might want to write some things down when you see it the first time, or uh, I really encourage you, if you're not in the right place to do it right now, come back and uh, do it again, uh, and this time do it you know, pretty much as I describe it right here. So we're going to look at this right now, which is uh, the process to go to the roar. So what I want you to do is to think about a current pressing issue in your life, or it could be trading, right? That's unresolved and maybe a distraction. It could be a really big distraction. It could be a really tough issue that maybe when you're at work or you're trading, it's not in your in your mind at the time that much but it's you know hovering there in the background and it's probably having you have this negative energy as you face each day as you move into each day and then i want you to think what about this issue makes it hard to face there are there's some reason that you are leaving it out there and some reason why it's still not dealt with and that uh it's getting there's parts of it that are getting in the way somehow in your life how has not dealing with it made it worse so you know this issue has been going on for a long period of time maybe it's not that big of issue maybe it's a small issue and maybe you don't even realize how much weight uh you're giving it or how much distraction it is so you haven't really had a lot of energy around um, dealing with the problem. Uh, I had some people I dealt with that didn't realize that the fact they hadn't filed their income tax in four years um, and the government hadn't caught them yet, that you know, it, that, that was this little problem that they hadn't dealt with. And just the fact that they were afraid of the result of what was going to happen to them um, made it so that they could barely, you know, they until we did some deeper work and really got a sense that it was a difficult problem for them, then they didn't, uh, they didn't realize that it was, you know, really sitting out there. Of course, they had a fear that they owed a lot of money and the fear that the government might catch them and maybe put them in jail. So it was easier not to deal with it than to deal with it. Um, so that's just an example of how something might be just kind of tucked away uh, and uh, not dealing with that one made it worse because it got past two years, three years, four years, and had a lot more work to do to deal with that issue. So, you know, how is not dealing with the issue for you making it worse? Remember, you're thinking about an issue that's in your life. The next thing is, what do you believe the cost is, whether it's monetary or personal, to deal with this issue. So there's some reason you're not facing it, right? And if there's something that you're not facing or not dealing with, it's because you make a judgment about it. And your judgments are that dealing with it somehow is going to cause you pain. Some There's some anguish that's going to be. And when we make a judgment about something, and that's how we process things as human beings, we, you know, we take the data. The data is, I got an issue in my life. The judgment is, is that, you know, dealing with the issue has cost to it. It's going to hurt me in some way if I deal with it. And then an emotion comes up. So what is the emotion that's coming up for you uh, when you think about it? fear, uh, shame, uh, not share, but shame, anger. Uh, and uh, the, uh, it could be any of uh, those emotions that are coming up. And now that I said the word emotion, and we're talking about the issue and what you believe is difficult about it and how dealing with it is going to cause you pain in some way, it's going to hurt you in some way, and this emotion comes up for you, let's just say it's fear uh, about dealing with it, I want you now, this is really the spot in this process where I want you to make sure you're in a place where you can do this. I want you to think about that emotion. I want you to really to try to embody it. You've been avoiding it to this point. Now I kind of want to let you 
bring it back uh, into the forefront. Give it some shape. Where is this, you know, where do you feel it in your body? Give it some texture. Uh, what is this emotion that you're feeling about dealing with this issue that you have? Um, you know, give it, give it really a sense of how it exists in your body. Really feel it, know it, breathe it in, and let that negative energy come in because you've been avoiding it. And avoiding it is what is keeping you from acting on the difficult issue that you have. Now I want you to visualize this. Now what you've done is you've given it shape and texture and you've let this negative feeling come into your body. Now I want you to, to visualize that you're reaching into your body where you felt it and taking it out and holding it out in front of you and put that in, put that, you know, whatever that is, that is that emotion out on the desk or table in front of you. I want you to actually see it. I want you to see what your emotion, this fear or shame or anger looks like. Uh, that you've been actually avoiding and it's been keeping you from being able to be in this positive energetic place and I want you to just get a sense for how it actually drives you inward uh, it takes your focus inward uh, and actually out of focus how you're actually distracted by it so you've got this piece of emotion that has been in your body and you're really looking at it is what you're doing and saying wow that's what my emotion that's what my fear or shame or anger looks like and I felt it in my body so now you've got this negative feeling in your body you have had it but you have kept it at bay you haven't really let it come in and you're getting an image of it so this is where I want you to transform you're in this place of understanding or feeling the negative part now think of something in your life that you love to do what gives you joy positive energy Think about that right now. What do you do? Is it your kids, grandkids? Is it playing golf? Is it writing a book or reading? Is it riding your bike? Whatever it is that just fills you up with positive energy and joy, I want you to take on that positive energy right now. I want you to image those things that you do that you love and that gives you this positive, really great feeling when you're doing it. Feel yourself shift from that inward focus of that negative energy that you had towards that positive feeling. Take the positive feeling and now breathe it in and really let it fill your body. I want you to go from what was a negative that you are creating that you had in your body to what is a positive and I want you to make it happen. I want you to feel that you have the power to go from the whatever it is that's holding you back, all that negative energy, into this positive energy. I want you to transform, and I want you to see that you yourself could be transformative. You can create this. You can go to the roar from the place that is fear to the place that is positive, and that makes things look a lot different. So give it power let that positive feeling come through your body and make that transformation now what i want you to do is give it a sound i want you to to roar i want you to do whatever you do that can really bring that strength and power into your body this is why i want you to be in a place you could do it do it again breathe hard breathe deep and bring this transformative powerful confident energy in your body if you're somewhere now that you can't do this, I want you to come back and I want you to go through this process again. I want you to really feel the difference, transform. I am transforming right now while I'm doing this process with you. I've gone from feeling your negative energy to feeling the power, to feeling the transformation and knowing that from this place, things look really different. Now go back to that issue that needs attending. Think about that right now. That issue in your life that's been a distraction, that's been holding you back. Don't worry about going there because you now know how to get into a place of empowerment, of, of knowing that, you, that it's up to you. You can choose the negative energy or you can choose the place of positive energy, choose the place to act in ways that are incredibly empowering. Now I want you to think about that part of your life. I want you to think about that issue right now that is an important thing that's going on in your life. 
I want you to think about the transformation you just made, going from that inward negative energy that pulled you down to now this positive, this affirmative, this uh, part of you that really knows the parts of you that know how to enjoy things, that know how to act on things, that really know how to be in a place of being whole, being fulfilled. That's this holistic type energy that uh, you can use in many aspects of your life. So now I want you to go back and think about that aspect of your life that we started with, that issue that's in your life. And now I want you to think about um, if it were not in your life, how would things be different, right? Because that's the first step. I want you to be able to visualize that issue in your life that's bringing you the negative energy or that you're allowing to bring negative energy. And uh, I want you to visualize it's not there anymore. How would you, your behaviors change? How would you choose to act differently? It's likely going to be for the better uh, when you uh, look at that. And uh, think about that right now, about life without whatever that negative thing is that's holding you back. It could be small, remember, or maybe it's a really big item in your life. And now, from this place of empowerment, remember, you've shifted now. You're in a confident energy. You know that you have the ability to be in a place of joy and wholeness. Are you willing to commit to change? Uh, giving up that old way that you probably have been hiding from that which is really holding you back and to acting from a place of power. Um, and uh, if you say, I'm willing to commit, say that, I'm willing to commit, then what steps are you willing to take? Uh, write them down, uh, commit to them, sign them, and share them with a buddy or uh, write to me, you know, just to lock in your commitment to, uh, uh, you know, write it and have it written in stone and uh, know that um, you're going to take some actions now. Your actions uh, might actually be small. Uh, maybe we do a little baby steps right now uh, in order to um, get a process going. But again, you're going to do it from this place of uh, confidence. So it doesn't matter if you just take little bites out of it and just get it started. So in the process that we just did, well, we took a, a, an issue and, and a negative emotion that we had around the issue and recognizing that it was actually debilitating, that there were aspects of it that, uh, uh, that this emotion was really holding us back and uh, keeping us from being able to act in ways that are really empowering. Think about how if you were acting in ways that were from an empowered place in your trading, that doesn't mean reckless. That means empowered, where your decision-making is from a positive place of joy and confidence. It's different, and your decision-making will be different. So we want to transform that negative energy, which is what we just did, looked at the negative, looked at the positive, and put you in charge of shifting that energy. It's about you knowing that you can do that. Uh, and uh, then looking at the issue again, or issues, there may be more than one, and now uh, tending to them from a place of confidence and strength and getting them out of our way and getting to a place where um, we approach life every morning by waking up in the morning and our eyes pop open and we say, you know, I really get it. I really get that I'm in charge of how I'm going to feel at this very moment. I'm in charge of whether I'm going to allow myself to be in negative energy and my decision making is going to come from fear or shame or anger or I'm going to put myself right now in the powerful energy in the place of confidence and my decision making is going to come from there. I feel transformed right now giving this to you because I've done this process so many times and I have led it in large groups so many times, variations of this. Um, there's a, another process called the samurai, which is pretty similar uh, in the energetic shift. And essentially, it's becoming the Japanese samurai and that confidence and that energy. So uh, it's, uh, uh, I'm, I've borrowed this from my uh, personal growth work that I've led for all these years. And I'm hoping that, you know, it's, that this is hitting you, that you're really getting a sense for that you create your sense of being and therefore you create your ability to be successful, to make positive decisions 
uh, in your life. If you want a little more on fear, um, there's a video in my trader psychology called uh, uh, 16 Ways That Fear Contaminates Your Trading. It's a really good video if you haven't watched it yet. And I have a lot of other ones in uh, trader psychology where this is going to live uh, that are, I think, really good also. So uh, uh, this is, uh, I hope, a process that uh, you're willing to do and you probably once you've experienced the transformative process you're going to be able to do this just on the spot i do it you know when i feel myself negative and pull down and i know i have to you know that i'm allowing myself to be there and i want to choose i will choose to not let myself be there and instead be in a place of confidence that's how i bring you these videos because i believe in it i believe in me and I want to encourage you to believe in you. That's Trader Psychology for today. I'll see you in the next segment.